By now, you've probably heard all about Lamborghini's new supercar, the Huracan. Of course, it replaces the Gallardo, which until the end of last year was in showrooms for more than a decade. Stop and think about that for a second. That means the last time Lamborghini introduced a V10 supercar, we were all listening to 50 Cent talking about being in the club and getting busy with Sean Paul. Just like the Gallardo, this car relies on a naturally aspirated, high revving V10 engine, only in this case, it makes 610 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. All that power is sent to all four wheels exclusively via a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. Now, the width, the look, the styling, the Lamborghini signature wow factor is all here. LED lighting is standard across all exterior surfaces, Although, if you ask me, that's the least exciting part about the newest Fighting Bull car. The chassis is made of lightweight aluminum and carbon fiber, all of which allows it to be 50% stiffer and 10% lighter, although an official curb weight for the car is still unannounced. And then there's the cabin. Things like the ignition switch from the Aventador carry over and other little styling cues work their way in to give the car a more modern Lamborghini look. There are a wide variety of colors available to customize the inside of the car, and Lamborghini says that the Huracan has much easier sight lines, making it a better daily driver than the Gallardo that it replaces. It isn't clear what sort of a ransom you're going to have to cough up to put one of these in your garage, but one thing is certain. The Gallardo sold more than 14,000 units over the course of its life, making it the highest volume seller for the brand. And this car is likely to crush it. So even if you're not going to be buying one, if you live in an area where supercars are common, there's a really good chance you'll see one on a street near you soon.